Hi guys, this is Karthik. So hopefully you have already seen the first video in which I explained the logic to the problem projects of CSES. This is the problem that we are solving. And if you haven't seen that video, please go and watch that first and then come back. This is the implementation part of the video. So I'm going to represent my projects using this particular structure project. Okay. And this is the start point of the project endpoint and the reward associated with the project. This particular comparator I'm going to use to sort the projects based upon their endpoints. And I'm still having this doubt. If I'll get a WA, I'll check, I, I'll check, see, see about this particular thing. Okay. So I'm having the doubt whether two projects can have the same end time or not the end day. I just need to implement the solve function. I've already taken the inputs and sorted the projects also. So I'll get these projects. Uh, I'll be getting a vector of projects. Let me call it V. I need to find the answer for these projects. Okay. So I'm going to declare a DP array, DP of something n plus one maybe. Let's say DP of zero equals to zeros. If I don't have any project, then obviously my answer is zero. Now I'm going to find out DP of one, DP of two, so until DP of n. And my final answer is going to be stored at DP of n. That is what I'm going to return. Here I can simply print it. So we saw that we had two options. One option is that you don't select this particular uh, project. In that case, your answer reduces down to DP of i minus one. Also, I'm going to uh, keep this LL because the rewards associated with the projects can be up to long, long range. Then the other option, I will be taking this particular project. I'll be doing this project and I'll be getting a reward associated with this. So reward will be vi dot rwd. Why is it not giving me suggestions? I can't code like this. And now I need to find the correct J so that the largest J so that the end point of J is less than the start point of I. That is what I want to find. But how do I do that? Since I'm not able to think, so I'll call a function. Let's say find best j okay this will give me int j equals to the best possible j and i'll send the vector i'll also give it the project that i'm talking about ith project and if i have the correct j the j point my answer will become op2 plus equals to dp of j among these two i will select the better option so dp of i becomes max among these two options so op1 and op2 so we're done implementing i guess you can implement find best on your own <laughs> because okay i i'll be implementing it now so find best okay and i Let me just uh, keep a vector that will hold all these values in sorted order. Okay. So we'll have a vector here. Vector endpoints. And for every project, m percent p1. I'm going to simply insert the endpoints. Okay. So endpoint of first project will be added and so on like that dot push back uh, v p dot <clears throat> p dot ed so that's what i wanted to do i guess now i will binary search this vector of endpoints for a value 
for the largest value that is less than the starting point of uh, vi okay largest value less than this i'm going to binary search that So I can guess I'll do a lower bound on this vector of endpoints. Endpoints dot begin. Endpoints dot end. So this returns me an iterator to a value that is greater than equal to val or to it. Now if it equals to begin, that means it equals to endpoint start begin see it points to the value that is greater than equal to val i can decrement it and then it will point to the value that is less than or equal uh, less that is definitely less than value and the greatest value less than value okay so i'll be decrementing it however if it equals to endpoint start begin then i cannot decrement it since it, it was already at the first point there so this means that there is nothing less than this val okay that is the idea so if it equals to endpoints dot val simply return a zero and otherwise the zero will do what is that it will give a j that says okay zeroth project and then dp of zero will be zero so uh, actually there is no harm sending the zero you can validate why it's correct okay now think about otherwise i need to return the best j so i'll say okay it minus minus and then how far is it from the beginning so distance between uh endpoints dot begin comma it whatever is the distance between them plus one okay because endpoints to endpoint uh, beginning to beginning distance will be one however the index is one okay so one for the uh, index and then how far it is from the starting that is what you, that is what you will be returning so guys that's it you have returned the j also and i'm hoping this should work let's just try it out ldp n plus one is giving me an error why would it give me an error mm. okay I'm sorry, I'm not having the dialog box here. And if I press F2 to bring it up, then my recording will stop. <laughs> yeah, so integer n equals to v dot size maybe. Integer j equal to, <sighs> I'm sending endpoints here and vi dot st. All right, so find best was not declared in the scope. I seriously cannot code without these logs. Yeah, let's just try if sample is passing. So now there's some problem. Let me check what it is. I've made my vector one based okay so if it's one based I should better loop through because then I'll have to avoid the garbage that is at the zeroth position so i equal to one i less than equal to n i plus plus is going to be i less than v dot size 
and then simply push whatever is at the end point of di so i am not sure if that's very close let's see what could be the problem here Mm. we have dp of 0 equals to 0 that is all right then uh, we sorted these things so that's also okay mm. i think this problem is here because then the garbage item is also getting sorted just print the values it would be good to check whether I'm printing the correct values or not the intermediate values so the intermediate values do look correct except the last value 4 6 7 7 answer is in fact 7 except one extra garbage values there let me see what could be the problem here so till i'm evaluating the first four values correct and i wanted to evaluate only four values since there are just four projects okay so this n here is incorrect it should be v dot size and less than v dot size because v dot size is in fact n plus one and not n so yeah this should do the work let's check the answer now oh god <laughs> also this should be dp of n minus 1 because n is actually the vector size is n plus 1 number of projects plus 1 right mm. yeah now we are getting the correct answer uh, sorry about the little bit sloppy imp implementation but hopefully you get the idea let me try and submit so already it got accepted hopefully guys this was helpful to you i'll add the code in the description and thanks for watching also make sure that you like share and subscribe